All right, garden beds one through three update. On the sides here, we have dill and oregano, both ends. We've added some cabbage in between our marigolds and our okra. In this bed on the sides, we have rosemary straight along both edges. And then we've planted all over the place our beets around the okra in between the marigolds. Garden bed number three, we've added cabbage also. And what else did we plant in this one? Oh, the eggplant. The eggplant, the eggplant is along Didn't we do dill the border. No, dill is here, bed oh, number okay. one. That's dill right. and oregano, rosemary, eggplant. And then we went and bought some different mints today. So we've got peppermint. And we've got sweet mint. Mm, this one's my favorite. I hope to do some mint extracts mm. with this. And of course, lavender, because lavender is absolutely terrible to start from seed. I am just not successful. I was super excited when I saw this already planted lavender that is already flowering. Don't know where she's going to go yet. Might go in the bedroom. <laughs> it, it very well might go in the bedroom. So that's garden bed one through three. And next up is four through six. So we decided next to each garden bed, we're going to put a bucket. And in each bucket is going to be a different perennial. And then when we buy our raw land and we have to move, it will be as simple as picking up the bucket and taking it with us. Next to bed number one is our sweet mint. Bed number two has our peppermint. And next to bed number three is our lavender. All three are perennials. Right now we're making room on the trellis for our cucumbers. And I'm not planting very many because good Lord, we had cucumbers coming out of our ears last year. I couldn't make enough relish. We were feeding them to the chickens and I still had too many, so. How many holes did you poke? One, two, three, six. four, five, six. six. Yes. And that. somehow I'm still nervous that six plants is going to be too much. I doubt it. What? Five? Uh, probably not. All right, y'all. It's a beautiful day here in southern Missouri. I've got my shorts, my flip flops on. I'm ice coffeeed. Cheers, Aaron. This one's for you. I know you're watching. Today we're planting garden beds four through six. I am ready to get my hands dirty and we're taking you guys along with us. Garden beds four through six are all prepped. We've got our pea trellises put up and ready to be planted. And underneath, I'm going to plant my spinach. In bed number five, we're going to do our squash and its companions. 
I went hardcore on the companions this year because we have a huge squash bug issue every single year. My plants will grow, they will do great, they will fruit, and then the bugs come in droves no matter what I try. So we've got nasturtiums and we've got a lot of marigolds. We've got mint. Mint is the number one um, plant that will repel squash bugs. So I'm hoping all of my efforts will pay off this year. And bed number six is gonna be our tomatoes and our onions. <laughs> We're finally on the last bed, on the last crop. Down the rows of tomatoes, we're going to plant our onions. Now you want to plant onions one and a half inches deep, three inches apart for the dry onions like we're planting right now. Any member of the onion family is good to plant with tomatoes. So just like with garlic, you're gonna to wanna to put the root system down and the pointy side up, straight down in there, cover it up. And your onions are gonna grow similar to the garlic. So we planted these last year, late December, maybe early January, I can't remember. They'll be ready to harvest June, June, July. Look at that garlic. That is massive. So we officially have beds one through six planted. We'll be out here again tomorrow doing the next three. If you're new to our channel and you haven't seen our previous videos, check out Garden Beds 1 through 3. As always, thanks for joining us. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Smash it hard. Don't forget to share this on your social media. And we'll catch you next time for Beds 7 through 9. Say bye, honey. Bye.